everybody, welcome back to Cheeky Kitchen. Uh, today we're gonna do stuffed mushrooms. Uh, this is a very easy uh, recipe that you can serve uh, either when you make it or later, uh, so you can make it ahead. So uh, keep watching if you wanna see the recipe. Uh, so first of all, we are gonna start um, just cooking some sausage here. I have some chorizo because I am in Spain, so I not use some chorizo, but you can use any sausage that you like. Um, I just, you know, take out the casings and then just uh, kind of with my fingers uh, separate uh, some of the sausage. You can also use, you don't have to use fresh sausage, you can use uh, any dry sausage that you have. I mean, anything fatty and, you know, very seasoned is very good, in my opinion, for this, or even bacon. Anyway, so here I'm just trying to break up some of the sausage, you know, just because it's a little... Uh, stuck there, but you know in the end you're gonna get something like this and I just let it cook for a couple of minutes And then after I added my garlic and you know as much or as little as you want You know the the sausage is pretty seasoned so you don't have to but I like it So here I have some chopped um, mushroom stems like I separate the caps from the stems and uh, I chopped up the stems because that's what we're gonna use for our stuffing so I went ahead and added the, those stems to the, um, the sausage and garlic and then I'm gonna uh, stir it around and let this cook uh, for maybe two or three minutes until um, the mushrooms uh, are softened and you know I think they look good and uh, there I just added some uh, dried white wine just for some flavor dimension but you can leave that out if you want and then finally adding some fresh herbs. I have some, um, you know, roughly chopped parsley here, but you can add anything you like or you have. And then I added the, you know, the stuffing part, which is the, the breadcrumbs and then some cheese, which is also optional, but you know, I had some uh, Parmesan cheese, so I added that um, to the stuffing and I, I actually think it came out pretty good. And then finally, I added some black pepper because I thought I could use it. Um, I it didn't need any salt, so I left that out. And then uh, to the mushroom caps part, I had uh, the mushroom caps, and then I went ahead and um, seasoned them uh, with salt, black pepper, and some olive oil. And then finally, I took my uh, stuffing and then really <laughs> stuffed those mushroom caps. Uh, keep in mind that the stuffing is gonna uh, reduce the I mean diminish in volume after it's cooked so you really want to pack that in um, there and you know the crispy part on top is going to taste delicious so as much um, surface area you have um, that'll be good and then I, I added some white wine just to help those mushrooms uh, steam in the oven you can use chicken stock or any kind of stock you you have also you, be, you do the same thing and then I kind of try to seal those um, there. And finally, after 30 minutes, that's what you're going to be left with. Um, I hope you like it and that you serve for your guests when you have uh, a party in your home. And bye-bye. See you next.